Now the mass magician will perform an illusion known as the stretch. He examines the huge cabinet that has supposedly been designed to stretch a human body. What will they think of next? An assistant comes out to lend a hand with this bizarre illusion. The magician unlocks the front doors. Then he opens the back panel so you can see all the way through the cabinet. This is to show you that there are no secret compartments or hiding places inside. The doors are closed and the magician inspects the stretching device. Now a stool is brought out. Here comes the assistant that's about to be stretched. She's in a pretty good mood for someone who's going to be pulled from limb to limb. She is now locked inside the contraption. Brave girl. Once the doors are closed, her hands and feet are put into position. The magician tickles them to convince you that they are real. Now he tugs on a rope, and the stretch begins. It appears as if her arms and legs are being pulled right out of their sockets. She must have a high threshold of pain. The magician slides her head to the top of the cabinet. Looks like she's going to need a good chiropractor. Her head is forced to the bottom. Then it's brought back up. Now for a little Linda Blair exorcist action. A perfect 360. It doesn't seem humanly possible. Her hands and feet are put back into their original position. Then her restraints are removed. The doors are opened, and there she is, in perfect shape. Now for the secrets. The magician spends a great deal of time trying to convince you that the cabinet is empty, but it isn't. When the trick begins, two assistants are already hidden inside. Before the front doors are open, the assistants climb out the back and stand on tiny ledges so you won't be able to see their feet underneath the cabinet. Then just before the back doors are opened, they climb around to the side. Those decorative tassels and pegs are actually handles to help the assistants maneuver around on the narrow ledge. You can't see them on the side of the cabinet because the front doors are now open and blocking your view. Once the back doors are closed, the assistants hide again behind the cabinet. When the assistant that's about to be stretched gets inside, so do the other assistants. It's their hands and feet that you see during the trick. They wear the same fingernail polish and stockings of the assistant being stretched to make the illusion seem even more convincing. Watch as they put their hands and feet into the holes and prepare for the stretch. While it looks like the magician is pulling apart his assistant, we can see that the other two girls are merely sliding their hands and feet in different directions. So how does the assistant's head get to the top of the cabinet? It's pretty simple. She's standing on the stool. Again, more tickling.
As the assistant moves her head lower, the stool is removed and she drops to her knees in order to put her head on the bottom of the cabinet. Not the most comfortable position in the world. As for her head spinning around, this actually takes even more physical dexterity. You need a very flexible assistant to pull off a trick like this. With their limbs back in place, the other assistants remove their hands and feet and escape out the back of the cabinet. The doors are opened and the masked magician has done it again.